to Albania. How's this all working out? It's complete madness. I, I, I don't know what quite has happened to Michael Gove. I think since his marriage went pop so publicly, uh, he appears to be lurching even, even further towards... I don't know, does he want to lead the Lib Dems or does he want to join the Labour Party? He wants to do something. He's hostile to landlords. He's now very much in favour of Albania. The interesting thing about Albania... It's for the last 30 mm. years, the people who don't like Albania are the Albanians. Mm. They have been quitting the country literally for years. There is now only 2.7 or 2.8 million of them left. And actually, they're coming mm. at us at a fair old rate. I suspect that Albania will become, I don't know, a new kind of uh, sort of playground for, for, for the rich to carve up. The, the reality of all this is that we haven't got enough money to spruce up Preston. Why on earth should right. we be spending it to spruce up Albania? It is ridiculous. And what, what, what I worry about is, is this Michael Gove freelancing? What on earth has it got to do with him? He was put in charge of levelling up. Was he supposed to level up Eastern Europe as well? I mean, it's absurd. So has Rishi actually given the go-ahead to this? And has he been captured already and potentially getting into another ridiculous idea of which eventually he's going to have to stand up and say, I'm sorry, we're not doing this. There are serious, serious issues on the south coast of our country. The Times did a, a stunning piece the other day, which you just showed um, up there, that cutting, right, in which people were waking up to find people wandering around their garden, going into their house. One, one guy asked... Where is Manchester? <laughs> you know, I mean, I, honestly, they, they already know where they're off to. They are going off to car washes. They're going off to push drugs. They're going off to run gangs. They're going off to join their mates somewhere. And apparently what happens is after a while they, they discover that places like you know, some places in Lincolnshire are actually worse than Albania. And then they go back there. The, this, is a, this is an extraordinary moment in our lives. And actually, I am very much in favour of Suella Braverman because at least she seems to believe in what she says. She does want to stop it. It's the first time I've heard a cabinet minister use the word invasion about 40,000 people yeah. coming to our country who are uninvited. And I, honestly, I find it difficult to shed a tear for one other thing. That, that, that Manston place, which apparently can hold 1,600 and has 3,000, why should we be upset that they are overcrowded? After all, they came here. They came here knowing full well that they were A, unwanted, and B, it was illegal. What did they, what did they want to do? Yeah. You, you talk about the, the, the Sofitel uh, somewhere. Is that seriously what was being... that they thought they were going to get? There were going to be difficult times... And hopefully, in my case, they were going to be returned from the folk whence they came. But if they weren't, then they can start their lives. I don't, it's not I don't want them to be successful. I don't see why a little bit of discomfort at the beginning is a small price to pay for, for, for leaving a country. For instance, Albania is, what, 60, 70 percent uh, Shia Muslim. A lot, of the, a lot yep. of the people coming to our country are actually coming from the Middle East. They too are, mm. they too are, are, are Muslims. So I, I, it's not that I, I, I want to deny them a decent life here. I first of all want to find out whether they're entitled to be here. And the fact that they have to put up with perhaps, you know, living four to a room, it's probably better than where they came from. They probably were living 12 to a room or, or no room at all. <laughs> so we, I don't think we should drop a tear <laughs> over the overcrowding issue. Well, look, this is a complete scam, Kelvin, because when you come from Albania to the United Kingdom, you're passing through some of the wealthiest societies that have ever existed in mm. human history. So mm. if you were a genuine refugee, you'd be perfectly content to stop in Italy or France or Austria or Switzerland. But the word has got out to the Alba Albanians, are clever people that tough and they're mean a lot of the time but they're smart and they've figured out that the united kingdom is a uniquely soft touch among the advanced societies of the world right and uh, and the only the only problem about all this is that the numbers seem to begat numbers 
So they tell, they, I mean, everybody, uh, they throw away their mobile phones and the like and their passports when they arrive so that nobody can track who they actually are, what their age really is, where they really came from. But once they get here, they, through some bizarre, probably uh, cash, uh, cash rather than tax society, they manage to do jobs, earn money, and then they get on the phones and they say, do you know what? It's great over here. Have you heard of anything over in Albania called <laughs> universal credit? Mm. No, honestly, you want to get in this? Mm. They, pay, they, pay, they pay your housing. They pay your energy. Mm. Uh, they pay for your kids. They'll find a school for you. Mm. The health system seems to work great over here. You honestly, you want to get, you want to get yeah. over here. So everybody is telling everybody it's a very good thing. What I cannot understand is why it is that Labour and the Tories and the Lib Dems aren't unified about one thing, to say we are going through a very poor patch at the moment, we can do without another 40,000 mouths, perhaps even 100,000 mouths to feed. Why is it, well, you know most things, why don't they say we actually don't want them, we're going to have to work out a system which pushes them back from the folk whence they came. What, what's the, see, Labour like them because they look That's, upon them as their voters. They look upon them as their voters. Do yeah. the Lib Dems, do the Lib Dems honestly think that the, 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 the 40,000 are going to vote Lib Dems? Not even the people in the UK vote Lib Dem. So why is it that the no, Tories no, no, no. feel this way? Well, exactly, because they're no, they're no longer Tories. I mean, the thing about that is even to, they've surrendered to the media narrative, which is that even to ask the question is albanophobic. Uh, we give, we do every, we do everything for them. We give them two GP surgeries a week at these luxury, uh, stately home hotels we put them up in. Nobody, no citizen of the United Kingdom gets to see a GP twice a week. And that's way better than Albania, where the health system involves swimming to Italy. So obviously it makes sense from, from the Albanian point of view, but you're right. Why does it make sense from a British Conservative Party view? I mean, are they, is Suella going to do more than tough talk and actually act tough too? Well, this is the issue. So, so it, it's going to be a fantastic... The, the great thing, I mean, it was shocking, that firebombing, but the great thing about the firebombing took those little numbers you saw saying, these how many people came in yesterday, which gets, I know through my Twitter following, gets people massively exercised. It took it from being reported like that to reported like this. So suddenly it's a major political issue, whereas before it was a number where they used to have some curious people from Border Force. So, uh, what's, what's that? Oh, it doesn't really work. Don't worry mm. about it. Now it's on the front page. What happens now? And the question is, this comes to Rishi's desk, right? As they always say about mm. prime ministers and presidents, when it comes to their desk, there are no easy solutions. But there must be a solution, mm. no matter how difficult it mm. is likely to be. And I do not, I do mm. seriously believe that whichever Prime Minister happens to, quote, solve this issue will be guaranteed a re-election in 24. So if Rishi does it, that's great. And if he doesn't do it, then we end up with Starmer, who views them potentially as lobby fodder for his 2028-29 yeah. election. So it, there is a big, big bet on here. I am absolutely sure yeah. that people in our country do not want another 40,000, 100,000, 200,000 people from other countries with other cultures coming into our nation. I am absolutely positive about that. And I would like Rishi to understand that and say something about it, which is why I approve of uh, Suella for the first time ever talking one word which is true, which is this is an invasion of our country.